York City Schools is uniquely located in central Pennsylvania in York County. York City Schools is a urban school district where we serve over 6,700 students with approximately 10 schools. Our demographic is about 52% um, Hispanic, Latinx, uh, about 32% African American, um, and then white make up the other portion. Uh, majority of our students are in poverty, um, both acute and chronic poverty. We have a very high population of our students that are homeless. About 7% of our students are actually homeless. So our school is a wide variety of high needs and vulnerable students. The district was under um, some financial constraints. There were a few charters that were popping up and there was a shift in the governor as well. And so funding shifted from the school, Pennsylvania school funding formula and boom, there you have it. York City uh, found itself in a state of uh, financial recovery. I think honestly, the school district had been recognized as a district in recovery for close to a decade upon my arrival. And so this status of being a district in recovery was something that had been normalized and not something that was fueled with a sense of urgency to really exit. New York City was functioning very much in this compliance managerial space. Um, we were, with the recovery hat looming over, um, it was almost like it, it paralyzed people into this compliance space, like check done, check done, check done. And we were leaning into this idea around management. Like if I can check and get it done, and we were missing the people aspect and the leadership aspect. We were checking off boxes for this notion of being in recovery. It didn't really speak to how we would execute and move the work in a real way. And so we had to really work hard to create clarity of our purpose. And so in partnership with UVA um, through PLE, we worked very, very closely to create a purpose statement that we believe we could we could capture that vision that we could see really come to fruition. And so we we made sure we made that our focus early and often and really helping our 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 principals believe that we can exit recovery. It really is not a life sentence and you all have the capacity to move the work and we're going to work shoulder to shoulder with you to help you to do that. The 90 day action plan is, is a key piece for us. Um, we, we are functioning in a space where we're, we're almost living and breathing it. And the language is around what are your leadership actions that are happening? But that 90 day action plan keeps our eye on the North Star and understanding that you, you have to know what you're doing every day. And then what's, ha what's happening as a result of what you're doing? How do you monitor and measure it? How do you celebrate it? And how do you make potential adjustments? And then at the end of 90 days, where are we at? And let's pick it up again. When the executive team comes by, Dr. Miles, Dr. Glosser, and they're at the elbow, they, they're actually helping you strategically plan and focusing on the 90 day, your school improvement plan. You feel empowered as a leader. You feel that you, you are ready to really do get the job done. And in, in other school districts that I've been a part of, it just wasn't like that. The supports that we're getting now are just groundbreaking. I knew we turned a corner when our principal started pushing on the system. That's transformation. When I don't have to speak for them and they speak for themselves. And what they're saying is aligned to best practice and what needs to happen for their school. The supports that we've received from central office, from uh, the executive team has been phenomenal. And the direction has been wonderful. We've aligned everything together from our school improvement plan to the district plan. And we know it's working because all the data points is telling us that it's working. Uh, our attendance is up, academics is up, the needs of parents are being met, the needs of students are being met, but most importantly, uh, our community is growing together. As of December 29th, 2022 at 2 p.m., the school district of the city of York was the first school district in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania to ever exit recovery. That in and of itself was a huge celebration that we continue to smile and to celebrate and regard as one of our largest achievements. It was a whole big deal. And just in that moment, it hit me. The journey hit me like, oh, I was here 10 years ago and it seemed so dismal. 
and I'm trying to talk my teachers off the ledge that we're not going to charter. And today, we stand in this space, and you can see you can see the health. And being the first school district to come out of recovery lets you know how much of hard work we've actually done as a school district. Uh, we've looked at our school improvements, and it in every single school and connecting the school improvement plan to the district's plan, which is very significant and, and very groundbreaking. That was a big part of the revolution. <laughs> that was a big part of how do we actually look for the future? How do we actually improve student performance? We are just tickled, we are excited, we are proud that we have captured the vision of that North Star and exited recovery.